your testimonies everywhere. Yeah. Let us grace I receive daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. Da 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 da. You must see every morning. Yeah. You daily load me with benefits. I'm a benefit boy. You treat me like your only child in the world. I know Jesus, you're taking care of me. We are here to testify. Jesus is taking care of me. Just they follow me, Chai. Angels watching over me. I before I call you answer me. I'm a benefit Music on trendybeats.com.
здорово. Слава Богу, очень сильно. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and the pathing leave behind them footprints in the sand of time. Nimi Sere Dinkba Bricks has left his footprint in the sands of time. That footprint is an indelible footprint that he left in the sands of time. There, was a, there is a time to be born and a time to die. Yes. If the Bible hasn't said so, Nimisere would have lived forever and ever. Amen. We thank God for his life. He has left his footprints really in the sands of time, indelible, that only God can erase. It is left for us who are alive today to implant our footprints in that mark that he has left and emulate to do what he has done. And by doing so, we'll make our lives a better place and this world a better place for everyone to live. Because Nimisara left a legacy. Anyone who talked about him never said anything bad about him. He left a legacy. He touched lives. So we should also emulate and touch lives. Let's take this on. Sleep on, beloved. Sleep on and wake your rest upon thy breast. say good night because when somebody is sleeping going to sleep you say good night yes. because the person you expect the person to wake up on the other side so I know the miserable is sleeping in the Lord yes. he will wake up on the other side yes. and in the last days we will all meet together and rejoice yes. in the presence of the Lord yes. Yes. When peace like a river your name because you alone is worthy of our praise. Yes. Daddy, you have made it. You have planned it. Mm -hmm. And you have executed it. Mm -hmm. We say may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Most precious Redeemer, 
even in time like this. The job he has left behind, Lord, you will complete it. Because you are not a God to abandon any project. And so, Lord, you will take it to an expected end. That world will see to glorify your name. Most precious Redeemer, we ask, oh God, you strengthen your daughter. Amen. You strengthen the children. Amen. You strengthen the relatives. Amen. You strengthen as many he has been taking care of. Amen. Lord, his departure shall not bring an expected end to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you will take them over. Amen. You will end over there. Amen. Lord, we give them up to you. Amen. We ask Holy Spirit divine. Amen. Let your divine power let your divine spirit, Amen. let your divine strength Amen. fall upon them. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, by your authority, oh God, we put a demarcation between the dead and the living. Lord, he will not hinder. Amen. They will not use his face. Amen. They will not use his face in Amen. any form. Lord, he will rest in you in peace. Amen. And the family will rest in peace with Amen. you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. May we share the grace in fellowship. The grace, the grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the and fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.
them. His life was gentle. And the elements so makes in him that nature might stand up and say to all the world, this was a man. His full name was Emeritus Professor Nimisoere Dinpa Tobi Obele Nakitulmar Indukwe Membre Prince. He was the bonheur. He was dapper. He was effervescent. He was chiseled. He was clips. He was firm. He was incisive. And he was decisive. But I tell you, he was charming, kind, irresistible as a cousin, irresistible as a husband, and irresistible as a father, irresistible as a medical doctor, irresistible as an academic, and of course irresistible as an administrator. Difficult, difficult. I take it again for the third time. Difficult. As, As it is for me, for, for me. me, and for everybody who knew of him and is going to talk about him in the past tense or write about him in the past tense, we simply have to accept the inevitability of his demise. And having been translated into a higher life, Emeritus Professor Nimis Erebrings is no longer here with us. May the only flight of angels receive the missile soul and deliver them at the gate of paradise. All this and many more we ask in Jesus' name. Bro, Dinamo. Yes. Yes. Sindo, so come.
I think switch back to the audio.
my friend, stop uh, testing that. Yeah, we are doing very pain. Mm. Stop, stop. When we close, you can test your mic. Here and then one six nine. My God, how wonderful thou art. First, come on the last. Pastor, we are waiting so that if we continue, we close. Continue, verse 2.
how sweet the name of Jesus sounds in our believers' ear. It soothes his sorrow, heals his wounds, and drives away his fear. Asian and more than 192, first, second, and last. family we need the burial program the burial program now we need 50 copies for the choir and the clergy now the king of love my shepherd is whose goodness faileth never in number 197 first second and last for the first bible reading
to 27. Oh, that my words we are now written. Oh, that they we are printed in the book. That they, we are graven with an iron pen and laid in rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the later day upon the earth. And though after my skin worm destroyed this body, Oh, my reigns be consumed within me. This is the word of the Lord. of light and love. Honorary, please conduct this in first, second, and the last.
the hymn before the second Bible reading. So my book on dogs. Thou wounds almighty word, chaos and darkness heard. Let there be sun. Hymn number two six six. We shall take our second Bible reading from the Revelation of St. John the Divine. Revelation chapter 21 will take from 1 to 7. It reads, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I saw, I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from heaven out of, coming out from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he we dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from them, their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And is that sit upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will bring unto him that is a test for the foundation of the water of life freely. He that cometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God. 
and he shall be my son. Here ends the reading of the second Bible reading. This is the word of God. We shall continue with two more hymns and let the close in prayer for today. In about two, page two. When is a reign of peace and purity and love? When shall all hatred cease as in the reign above? Two, six, two. If there is any entertainment, we're approaching the last. Psalm one fifty one.
we have come to the end of the day VG, and that by 12 noon, the cops, by 12 noon, the cops will be taken to the church and the funeral service will start. Let us pray. Why not about Jesus Christ? The Gujumena, Tamno, the Bibelabamena, Peke, Fia, Fia, Tembe, Guluma, Wamene, Banasme, Mokumu, Besake, Besake, Keniana, Bobi, Wamene, Nasme. No. Uh, uh, we we'll retire to the church, then okay, you okay. try and see our minister in charge okay. before you go. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Just do Music on trendybeats.com.
more music on trendybeats.com. I will 
on trendybeats.com Beats.com No, we 
your blessings follow me, follow me, follow me everywhere. Your favor follow me, follow me, follow me everywhere. If I start to come my blessing, they go break and no go finish. Up. That's why I rejoice for what the Lord has done. Oh my Jesus, you the do do you the do 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 marvelous things. You do marvelous things. Oh.
music on TrendyBeats.com. Music on trendybeats.com. It was no ordinary night for laying in a lonely manger by the only Jesus child. Tenderly he led so meek and mild, filled with praise. Born to die to take our sins away And everywhere it was a holy night Say holy, 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 holy There was no other carry night To sing all day More music on trendybeats.com. I'm a go in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. Watch shepherd watch their fox by night. They see a bright new shining star. And then they heard a choir sing. The music seemed to come from afar. And now we Joseph and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. They find no place to bear the child, not a single room was inside. 
Omega, your glory, no one they share them. Jehovah, anything you talk, you they do. Uh. You get the power to save, heal, and deliver. Hosanna, the angel of the sing, hallelujah. You know they lie, you know they fail, you know they carry my matter, they play. See, yes, I did. You call me your name from the duration.
More music on trendybeats.com. Holy Spirit, feel this place. With your power, feel this room.
Is someone hard cry tonight? We say, Feel this blood. Oh, 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 with your power, God, we say, Can you just feel this wrong? We are ready to. You come and manifest, God. Manifest your power. Manifest your glory. We are ready, say you. We are ready for your power. Ready for your glory. Daddy, come, come and manifest. Solid rock, 
Now I can stand and boast of your name Jehovah, me sing Your glory, just to follow me When I think about the things you have done for me
Bye. Start the procession, Start the please. procession please. In the name of God the Father, the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. May we talk, May we talk for the procession. For the procession. Sanki 1036. On page three, on page of, three the program, of the program. Of the procession. For our procession. I have the resurrection, resurrection and the life. And the life. He that he believeth, that believeth in, me, in me, though if you are dead, if you are dead yet, shall, yet he live. shall he live. And whosoever, whosoever liveth and believeth believe in, believe in, in me shall never die. Shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, liveth, and that he and shall that he stand, and stand and later and day later upon, day the upon the earth. And though and after, my skin, after my skin won't destroy, won't this, destroy body, this body, yet in my, yet flesh, in my flesh shall I see God. Shall I see God. Whom I shall, Whom see, I for shall see for myself, and my eyes, and my eyes shall, behold, shall behold, and not, and not, and not, and not the third stanza. The third stanza. Let not that be troubled. Be troubled. Ye I believe in God. Ye believe in God. Believe also, believe in, me. also in me. In my father's in my house, are many mansions. So many mansions. If, you are not so, if you are not I so, told you. I would have told you. I will go and prepare a place, place, place for you. The fourth stanza. The fourth stanza.
Let not let your heart be troubled. Trouble. Ye yeah, believe, yeah, believe, believe in God, believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I, have told you. I, go, to I go to prepare a place for you. The fifth, the fifth and the last and the stanza. stanza. The special sound for this service, service is service number, 90. Sound number 90.
Nisida, Nisida, Alagay, Alagay, the Huina, the Huina, call a pile of Tundia, Tassier, Tassier, Amadi, Amadi, the only scripture reading. Is he around? Is he around? First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50 to 58. Now, this now, I say, this I brethren, say, brethren. Now this now, I say, this brethren, I say, brethren, that flesh and that blood, flesh and blood are not in the kingdom of God. Neither doth neither corruption, doth corruption, inherit in corruption. Behold, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all, shall not all, shall not all, shall not all, but we shall all, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a moment, the twinkling of, of an eye, eye of an at the last trump, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, the trumpet shall sound, the dead shall be raised, the dead shall be raised, the cursed shall be raised. Incorruptible, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. For the corruptible, For the corruptible must, put on, must put on corruption, in corruption. And this mortal and must, this put, on must put on immortality. So when this so corruptible, when this corruptible shall, have shall have corruption, in corruption. and this mortal, and this mortal shall have put on, put on immortality, then shall be, then shall be brought to pass brought the same that, that is written. Death is swallowed, death is swallowed, up, swallowed in up in victory. O death, O death, where is thy sting? Where is thy sting? O grave, O grave, where is thy victory? Where is thy victory? The sting of the sting death, is of death is sin. The strength of sin, the strength is, the of sin is the law. But thanks be, but to, thanks God, be to God, which giveth us which victory, giveth us through, victory through, our through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, therefore, my beloved brethren, my beloved brethren be ye steadfast, be ye steadfast unmovable, always bound in always the work of the Lord, work of the Lord. For, as much, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in the Lord. The Lord, this is the word of this God. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Sanki, 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 For, for, first, first, the first, the first, Sanza, and the second, the second, for the reading, for the reading, the biography, the biography, by Nimi, by Nimi, Dink Par Briggs. Thereafter, thereafter, we'll take the last, we'll take stanza, the last stanza for the for brief, the address. brief address. Sanki, Sanki, eight, seventy-nine, eight, seventy-nine.
Be seated. May we now call upon Nimi Dingpa Briggs to take the biography. By Inanda, Tasie Amadi, and Deprie Briggs. Are they here? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I will be taking my father's biography this afternoon. My name is Kika Tassie Amadi. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. Indeed, this can be said about Professor Emeritus Jimmy Redding at Tobin Briggs who was born on the 22nd of February 1944 and passed on on the 10th of April 2023. News of, his sudden demise, news of the sudden demise of a dear person often makes one feel as if left stranded with an innate conversation that will never get to be heard. This is the general feeling of all those who heard of Nimi's demise. The man was a delight and his life showed rare talent laced with outstanding feats, laurels and accolades that distinguished him. Many clear qualities defined Nimi Briggs, some of which were discipline, consistency, diligence, determination, integrity, and the fear of God. These qualities played out in his choice of career, decision-making, and relationships with people. Nimi Sarah Dingpa Tobin Briggs was born on February 22, 1944 in Port Harcourt, River State. His father, Bishop Dingba Tobin Briggs was the fifth son of Da Tobin Daike Tolumari Briggs. His mother, Madam Esther Victor Will Telema Harry, was the third daughter of Pa William Young Briggs. She was a woman who knew the worth of education and recognized the potential in her son and relentlessly nurtured this potential to fruition. Nimi grew up as any other child in a body not affluence, but living a moderate life. His education, academic career was a remarkable distinctions and honors. He in Aboni Mine in 1949, where he then proceeded to the Baptist High School in Port Harcourt, and then on to the prestigious Government College in Mwahia. Following that, he then went on to the University of Lagos. It is worthy to note that all these institutions Nimi attended he finished with distinguished honors in each of them. And that after his sojourn in Baptist High School, every other form of education that Nimi Sayere Dinkwa Briggs undertook was funded by one form of scholarship or the other. He, in gaining admission to the university, was admitted to both the universities of Ibadan and Lagos, but chose to study medicine at the University of Lagos. In June 1969, he graduated from the University of Lagos, again earning various accolades, a distinction in obstetrics and gynecology, overall best in final MBBS examination in surgery, and the award of the gold medal prize as best student in pediatrics. Again, Nimi's um, graduation from the University of Lagos was followed with a string of accolades. His career. He also had a long and fulfilling career which spanned over five decades, during which period he undertook roles spanning memberships of professional bodies to chairing of these bodies. Of note, some of these roles in which Nimi played a prominent role were, some of, these, some of the prominent roles that he played during his lifetime were the chairman of various institutions, boards, foundations, and committees, some of which being the Federal Government Universities Union's renegotiation team from 7th March 2022 till his passing, the Chairman Committee of Pro-Chancellors from the 20th of September till his passing, the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council, Alex Ekweme Federal University from 18th May 2020 till his passing, he was the pioneer Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council for the Bielsa University of Medical Sciences 
and he was a member of the Committee of Pro-Chancellors of state-owned universities in Nigeria from 2019 till his passing. He was also the Pro-Chancellor and Chairman of Council for the Federal University Lokojan, Nigeria from February 2016 till 2020. He was the Chairman Board of Sports Institute, University of Port Harcourt from March 2013 to his passing. He was the Chairman Board of University of Port Harcourt Foundation from 2012 till his passing. He was the Chairman of the Board of Management, University of Benin Teaching Hospital from February 20, 2009 till March 2011. He was the Chairman of the National Universities Commission Institutional Accreditation Team to the University of Ibadan from November till December 2011. He was the chairman of the River State Economic Advisory Council from November 2007 to May 2015. He was the chairman of River State Independent Electoral Commission from 2007 to 2011. He was the chairman of River State Community Foundation. He was the chairman of the Board of National Hospital Abuja from 2006 to 2007. He was the chairman of the Committee of Vice Chancellors of Nigerian Federal Universities from 2004 to 2005. And he was the chairman Association of Vice Chancellors of Nigerian Universities from 2004 to 2005. He was also a member of the Strategy Advisory Committee of the National Universities Commission, which was set up to assist the NUC urgently revitalize the Nigerian university system. At the time of his passing, Professor Emeritus Nimi Briggs, as a member of this organization, was in the process of revising the curricula of various university courses, especially those related to medicine which was finalized and presented to the federal government of Nigeria in May 2023. He was, a, he was a prolific external examiner and evaluator, examining in all but I think two of the Nigerian universities, also examining in various tertiary institutions in Africa, including the West African College of Surgeons. He was also a prolific writer, writing numerous publications over um, publishing books, articles, workshop conference papers, technical reports, and a host of other um, publications. Mr. Redim Pabriks in his lifetime also had a string of accolades that line his um, study shelf. Amongst this was the Order of the Niger Delta that was conferred on him by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The topical period in Nimi Briggs' life, as most of us will know, was his time as the Vice Chancellor of the University of Port Harcourt. On the 10th of July 2000, he was appointed Vice Chancellor of the University of Port Harcourt, prior to which he had served in an acting capacity on two previous occasions. His time as Vice Chancellor of this institution mark, was marked with an unparalleled drive for excellence, hard work, and integrity. One of such occasions where his drive propelled the university to hitherto unattained heights was the hosting of the 2004 Nuga Games. From a situation where there was a total lack of funds for hosting the games, the Nimibrix led committee convinced various sectors of society and stakeholders, raising enough funds to build an Olympic standard swimming pool, a world class stadium with tartan tracks, and a games village which eventually metamorphosized into what is today known as the University of Port Harcourt Sports Institute, Institute, introducing athletes known throughout the country as being among the best in their respective fields. It was also a pivotal time for him, as this marked the turning point in his career from medical professional to astute administrator. From taking on the helm of what was considered a sinking ship in January 1995, when he first acted as acting vice chancellor, he turned the ship around. And by the end of his tenure as the vice chancellor, the institution had attained pride of place as one of the universities of choice in Nigeria. In 1999, before Nimi became vice chancellor of the university, the institution was ranked 25th amongst 36 federal and state universities by the National Universities Commission, the NUC based on the quality of academic programs. However, following the November 2002 accreditation, the university was ranked, and after, we, after Nimi serving for just two years as its vice chancellor, the university was ranked the first amongst all the universities along with the University of Agriculture, Abiyokuta. This period of his life was the inspiration for the book he wrote at the end of his tenure as vice chancellor, which he titled turning the tide, Nimi's community and social life. Outside his academic achievements, he was also 
He was also a central pillar in society. He was a father to all he interacted with, treating everyone with respect and dignity, always smartly dressed, a man of the microphone who never lacked the words to say. Yumi was constantly sought after as chairman of every type of occasion, from weddings all the way to funerals. His weekends were often a blow of activities over which he was presiding, and his car and room, a graveyard for the million and one programs from these occasions for which for some reason which he never threw away. In 2002, as an elder statesman and in his capacity as the chairman committee of pro-chancellors, Nimi led the negotiation on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria, successfully bringing the eight-month impasse between the academic staff union of universities and the federal government to an end. In his lifetime, he also served as a member of the River State Elders Forum, where he again applied himself, bringing positive changes to the people and communities in the state. An example of this was during the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. Nimi, as he had always done, showed up as a pillar of the Abonima Society. He constituted a high-powered and effective committee that mobilized and raised funds home and abroad to procure enough food, drugs, and sanitizing materials. The committee also ensured effective distribution of these palliatives to Abonima and its surrounding communities. In his desire to further serve his home community, Nimi was in the process of seeking a chieftaincy title of the late Young Briggs. Even in seemingly mundane issues such as the provision of electricity, Nimi Briggs showed up to the Amadi Flats community where he lived to solve the problem of incessant power failure. He donated an entire transformer to the area. The Nepa staff knew him as the man who dwelt in light. As it was said, with him around, there could be no darkness. His passion for exercise and healthy living inspired many around him, young, elderly, to live healthier lives. He was married to his alter ego, Lady Data Nimi Briggs, near Christopher Tom Ogi, his wife of 51 years whom he had promised, assuming there is a reincarnation, that he will marry again and again. Their marriage was instituted in March 1972, where they carried out the highest form of the Calabari traditional marriage, the year ceremony. Lady Data Briggs was a strong pillar by the side of her husband, and both had total respect for each other. Their union is blessed with three children, one son and two daughters, Nina, Kika, and Boma, and five grandchildren. Professor Emeritus Nimi Briggs' devotion to Lady Data Briggs was rivaled only by his attachment to his children and grandchildren. As a caring husband and loving father, he raised his family in the culture of service to others. The status of his family is a pointer that his was a life devoted to the service of God and humanity. He was a Christian who lived an upright and fair life. He believed that his existence and accomplishments in life were traceable to one source, God. He started his Christian life as a bell ringer in St. Paul's Yemoni Lutheran Church at Bonima, where we are worshipping today. During his time in the University of Port Harcourt, he worshipped at Our Saviour's Chapel and upon leaving the university at King's Chapel Bishop's Court in Old Jerry, Port Harcourt. His dedication to the Christian faith led to his investiture as a Knight of St. Christopher in 2004. In 2014, Professor Emeritus Nimi Briggs published a book on his birthday entitled Nimi Briggs at 70, Selected Writings and Addresses, 2006 to 2013, where he chronicled his footprints in 667 fascinating pages. His narrative demonstrated the essence of a true biography, shown of self-adulation, and in it, there was a lesson for every age. It was Nimi's Nunc Dimittis, reminiscent of the Song of Simeon in Luke chapter 2, verses 29 to 32, used as a canticle in Christian mythology. At 70, he had achieved that much, reaching the pinnacle of his prof profession. So what else? H Hippocrates, acknowledged father of medicine, had in 406 BC defended Emeritus Professor Nimi Briggs in one of his long famous aphorisms, in which he exclaimed, Ars longa vita brevis, art is long, life is short. A sentiment redolent of Nimi Briggs' own observation that excellence lasts forever. Following a brief illness, Nimi Briggs passed early hours of Easter Monday, April 10, 2023, in the United Kingdom. He is greatly missed, but the Holy Spirit will bring solace to his family and all who knew him. We remain thankful for his legacy left to all, especially to future generations, to emulate. 
He has indeed finished the race and finished strong. May his gentle soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. Adieu, Prof the Great. Sleep and take thy rest. He is survived by his wife, children, grandchildren, and a host of relatives. Thank you. The last stanza of Sanghi, 879, for the brief address. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us together this afternoon to pay our last tribute to your servant, whom you sent into this world, through whom you, you made the needs of so many, and also through whom a lot of people acquired knowledge. Our brother, our husband, our father, our dear friend, Professor Emeritus, Nimi So Ere Dingba to be in bricks. Lord, at this time, we're about to hear your word, however brief it will be. May that your word, which is the truth, sanctify us. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. May be seated. I want to welcome our king, the Abayanabo of Abonima, and the four paramount heads, and all the council of chiefs. I want to welcome you. So, I want to welcome. All those who have come to join us in saying farewell to our dear brother, our prof, our friend, our father, grandfather. A wonderful man, a gentleman. Always smiling, always peaceful, always ready to go extra mile with you in order to help you out. It has not been easy for both the family, the community, and they said, Ball, see you money, Lutheran Cathedral. It's 
So we want to make things as brief as possible so that we can go back and relax in our various homes. We've heard about his birth, his achievement academically, and his contributions into the society. Now we will go home with the word of God as found recorded in Second Timothy chapter 4 verses 6, 7, and 8. Second Timothy chapter 4 verses 6 through 8 is the text for our brief address. The Apostle Paul writing to his son Timothy says, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my cause. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but unto all them also that love his appearing this is the word of the Lord dearly beloved in Christ Jesus The theme for this brief message is hearing what is stated here by the Apostle Paul to his son. The theme will be the song of triumph by a dying Christian. The song of triumph by a dying Christian. The song has four stanzas. The first stanza says, I have fought a good fight. Paul indeed fought a good fight. With confidence, he mentioned it. Because he knew that in that fight, he got victory through Jesus Christ. Our brother, Professor, came into this world and he was born into a Christian family. Growing up, he was baptized into the Christian faith. And from then he knew that he would be facing battle because life is war. Life is what? Life is what? War. Life is war. So, he too started his own battle. But he followed the footsteps of his parents. Our father, Bishop D. Tobin Briggs, and his mother, our wonderful Christian mother, Esther Harry. So I must say that he too fought a good fight. And he won the battle. Praise the Lord. The second stanza of the <laughs> Christian song says, I have finished my cause. 
This is one thing a lot of people don't want to realize. You are not here on earth by accident. You are here for a mission. You have a cause. And that mission you are expected to accomplish. You are not here. You've seen the world. Maybe your parents left one or two neither for you to enjoy. So you start to rock a wula, job up and that. No! You are here for a purpose. Whether man or woman. Boy or girl, you are here for a purpose, a mission. And you are expected to finish that mission, to accomplish that mission. Paul, upon all that he did to the church, when Jesus Christ met him on his way to Damascus, in order to persecute more Christians, Christ turned him around. And since then, he started defending the faith and also winning souls for Christ. A persecutor turning round to becoming a winner for that same cause he was persecuted. Great is our God. Our brother, professor, coming up to age, he came to realize that he was here for a purpose. And that purpose, that cause that was set before him would make him to reach out to so many people to interact with so many people, to impact knowledge to so many people, to heal so many people. As a gynecologist, we cannot count how many women that he saved, how many women that he helped to survive how many people that the devil wanted to snatch out of this world suddenly and through prayers, the Lord helped him in order to help them. Can we count them? They cannot. And very many other things that he did. He knew he was here for a cause. And he followed the cause. And by the grace of God, before he left, whether he was able to say it out verbally or not, within him, he made this statement and sang this song, I have finished my cause. What about you and I? Have we come to realize that we are not here by accident and we are not here for a chance play? We are here for a purpose. We are here for a mission. And those of us that have come to realize that, do you know that you cannot do without God helping you? And that's why you need to come closer to your God. You need to come closer to Jesus Christ. You have to. Because he says, without me, he can do nothing. It's that same Jesus, that same God, that helped our prof to succeed and accomplished his mission. So that day he sang that song, I have accomplished my mission. I have finished my course. The top stanza of the Christian, the dying Christian song of triumph says, I have kept have kept the faith. As I told you earlier, I was born into a Christian family. And as a child, he was brought to the knowledge 
of his Savior, Jesus Christ. And he remained, he remained faithful to his God unto the end. Praise the Lord. But all the books he read, written by atheists in the field that he chose, and God gave him, maybe, to acquire knowledge, and some other philosophical books, it did not affect his faith. No way. Rather, it strengthened him to remain a faithful Christian to the end. Praise the Lord. Yes, he kept the faith. And wherever he, he went, first and foremost, is for him to go closer to the church where he can go and worship his God. He loved God, loved the things of God, and helped the propagation of the gospel. And helped the propagation of the gospel. In everywhere, every place, both abroad and here at home. He loved Jesus. And Jesus loved him too. He loved the things of God. And he supported the progress of the church. He defended the Christian faith. He defended the Christian faith. So as the Apostle Paul said, so we need to understand one thing. God first. Let God first be first in our, in our lives. Because without him, we can do nothing. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. You belong to God. So you must know him. You must know him. Because there's time for you to leave this world. As our professor has done. That is time for you to leave this world. Not one day. Whether you live up to 200 years. One day you will go. Because Ecclesiastes clearly tells us in, in the, the third chapter. There is time for everything. Time to be born. And time to... But me, you will depart because we have no abiding city here. Yes, there is a home. But between the time of birth and time of time to depart, one thing is our, one of our old uh, old mothers, grandmothers. Uh, she had nothing to do with the church. Nothing. Until when the day came, they called a pastor to go and uh, <laughs> preach to her so that she can be baptized. Uh, since she still has uh, life in her. So they brought the preacher, and the, the man asked her, uh, Mother, do you know who is Jesus Christ? She asked him, from which compound of the community? Yes, from which compound? If it were to be, I would tell her, from five years compound, because that's where I come from. Don't wait till then. Now, now is the time to surrender your life to Christ. Yes, to seek the kingdom of God. So one day you will go and you should know where you are going. Yes, you should know where you are going. Don't just climb and make church go out Sunday, Sunday, we go at this and that. No! Be faithful to your God. Embrace Jesus. Give to him and remain faithful to him. Yes. He is the only author and finisher of our faith. Cling to him. Be prayerful and commit your ways unto him. And he will do what? He will direct your path. Whatever you need. We'll give it to you. But have him first. If you don't have Jesus, whatever degree, whatever position, what, whoever you are, you are nothing. If you don't have Jesus, 
because he's the savior of the world. Our prof clicked to him just like his parents. Yes, and the entire family. And it is Jesus that helped him out for him to make it in life. For him to make it in life. A peace lover. A peace lover. A true Christian. An upright man. A man with policy. If he says this, he will, he will keep to it. Oh, yes. And he will expect you to keep to it. There was this committee that was set up to look into the eternal matters of Abodima, which he too was a member. As busy as he was at that time, the moment I called him and said, look, oh, we are meeting in so-so place at so-so time, oh, he will be there before even me. Prof was a lover of, of hymns, in fact, Christian music, and he loves praising God. Especially when the choir, the cathedral choir, wants to do their concert or their cantata, and they invite him. He'll be here before the choir choristers will come to make arrangements. A timekeeper. Prof touched so many lives, both home and abroad. There are so many people crying, being grieved of his departure. But one thing is certain. An elect, a saint of our time, an upright man of our time, a man full of love towards mankind, has returned to his maker. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He touched lives. Very simple in his ways, in the, in the way he does his things. Very simple. <laughs> Always smiling whenever he sees you. Always keeping to time. Always ready to go extra mile. Prof. Dynamo. Now the first stanzas of that hymn of the dying Christian says, There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Praise the Lord. I know. After your job, your work, and everything, by the grace of God, you go into retirement. And the government, the authorities, will give you your reward. Maybe your colleagues, too, can also give you an award, a award of excellence, a award of appreciation. Or maybe you are gratuity, you are pension, as it used to be. So also, after your life here on earth, there is a day of reckoning, a day of judgment, when Jesus, a righteous judge himself, will say to you, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And will give you your reward. So the reward of every man, every woman is with me. Behold, I come quickly. And I will give to each and every one your reward. So, what will be your reward? Paul says, a crown of righteousness awaits him. And that 
crown. Yours is also there if you love Jesus and his appearing. What will be your reward after your life here on earth? What will be your reward? Also consider that. And that's why the preacher man says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his uh, commandment. Because every deed, whether it be, it be good or evil, whether done secretly or openly, there is a judgment and a reward. Let us strive to make heaven by living a righteous life, a righteous life, an upright life. Let us fear God in all our dealings. Let us touch lives in all our dealings. Let us remain faithful to our God. Prof has finished his own and is going with songs and singing and joy and gladness on his heart because he has done well. Oh yes. What about you? And what about me? Let us do what is right. Look at our country, how it is. Because we don't have the fear of God. A country blessed, blessed with mineral resources. In the midst of plenty, we are starving. Yes. Where there is much water, soup is entering into our eyes. So many things are happening. Because we don't have the fear of God. We don't love God. Because we prefer things of this world than any other thing, than, than, than even, even God. Look at what is happening to us. You may be happy because maybe you have a source where one or two things are coming and they are, you feel they are comfortable. You are not comfortable. Oh, yes. Or let me say it would have been than what you think is better for you. Because the best is there for us. So let us fear God, Nigerians. Yes, let us fear God and live a righteous life. Let us shun every kind, every type of sin and corruption and everything. And remain faithful to our God. You will see how our country will change for the better. Our prof and I had a discussion. This year, before the end of this year, we were to raise funds. Yes. Now, some of you, I know you have noticed the droppings from the roof. The church will be 100 years old. The building will be 100 years old in July. This July will make it 100 years old. So, those of you in the civil engineering and something, you, you can tell that the, the, the structure has started to show some sign of uh, aging. So, now that we are here, it is a call from God. As is the cathedral, let us maintain it. The roof is leaking. Even if you look at the, uh, the tower there, the glasses and everything, you know, they are... So, please, help us. Because we made an arrangement. He would have been the person to invite you so that you can come and help him, join him to raise funds for the maintenance of the cathedral building. So now that he's gone, I know you're all children of God. The spirit of God is in you. And you want to help to assist this building, an edifice, an inheritance from our forefathers. We will not let it fall down. Let us help the cathedral. May God help you as you think about it and decide on what to do. As you are here, the second name for this cathedral is the Temple of the New Covenant. And as you are here, if you have any problem, any challenge, because this is where Burma people, all the big men you've heard and those that are still existing, this is where their blessing are. I'm proud of that. So now that you are here, challenge God here. 
and see if God will not bless you as he blessed the people of Abonima. Oh, yes. He, hears, he answers prayers. So may God bless you as you have come. And may the honor you have given to our prof, not in death, but know that you are living, may honor be a portion. May God's blessings be a portion. May honor never depart from your house or from your family. In the name of Jesus. Academically, may you prosper. Spiritually, may you prosper. I know our country will prosper. And all that we have seen, the evil that we have seen, will be a thing of the past. May God help us and bless us. May the gentle soul of our prof. My brother, I call it my brother, because we have the same father, but uh, different mothers. The same father, his father happens to be my father spiritually. He made me what I am today. And I'm just in, in, in the shoes of his father. That's how I say, I regard him as my brother, my pseudo brother. A wonderful man. We are so rest in the bosom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Let us pray. Pray for River State. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for the family, the wife and the children, the entire family of our professor. What do you Wonderful, gracious and merciful God, Continue to bless Nigeria. Now as if we don't know where we are going, let him show us the way. Let him bless the country. We are expecting new government. Let there be peace. Let there be unity. And let there be progress. Strike actions are already going on and more have been threatened. We need peace, unity. Mostly the fear of God. Pray for our state. Thank God for our governor, the deputy, and those who are in authority now that they are leaving and handing over to a new, gov a new government. We thank them and may God bless them. May God also direct the new government that is coming for the progress, unity of our state. We pray for our, our dearly beloved wife of our prof, Lady Nata, and the children. May God continue to console them, to comfort them. And you that is here, also commit yourself and everything belonging to you, your family, into the mighty hands of God. You have come from far and near, and you are about to return to your various destinations. May God guide and protect you and grant you all joining messages. But at the end, his name alone will be glorified. This is our prayer, and with full confidence that he has heard us, because we have prayed through his only Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Go in peace.
heartily welcome our Deputy Governor, Our Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Epal Bobanigo. You are welcome, ma. You are your entourage. You are welcome. And also, the Deputy Governor-elect is also here, Professor Ngozi Odo. Ma, you are welcome. At the appropriate time, we'll also recognize all the dignitaries that are here. But uh, in the name of Jesus, I welcome you all. We shall take some performances from different choirs. First of all, the primate family of the Fellowship of Lutheran Congregation, Nigeria, worldwide, Asian and modern, Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Blessing Fine Face. Grandma, Grandma Nengia Ideria. We're here to sing to the glory of God and also to encourage you to keep your faith in God and God alone. We love you.
The next, King's Chapel Choir, Bishop Scott, Port Harcourt.
the great magnificent choir.
has his loves one of his favorites, and that's why we are singing it for him. Maybe rise, please. Seated all day. Every moment, make our prayer. In the name. For our closing, we shall seek from Asian and modern number 443. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, 
We give you praise and thanksgiving. Father, we are here because of the departure of your son. Merciful Lord, we thank you for this service. Father, we thank you for the word that we have heard. Father, we thank you for the traveling message accorded us to come and hoping and believing in faith that we take us back home safely. Merciful Lord, we thank you for the life of your son that had departed. Really, indeed, we missed him. Merciful Lord, we commit his family, his nuclear family, friends and well-wishers, the academia in particular. Merciful Lord, we give you praise. Merciful Lord, we thank you for what you have done in our lives. Merciful Lord, we commit our state, River State. We commit our nation, Nigeria. We commit everybody all into your hand. Especially at this time, we are going into another new government. Merciful Lord, we thank you for plans that are made on ground of the swearing in at the national up to the state. Merciful Lord, we pray for peaceful transition from one government to another and pray that it is well with Nigeria and our state in the name of Jesus. Merciful Lord, we are about closing the service. And so, Heavenly Father, we commit the last section of the service, which is interment. Merciful Lord, as we go to entire Yasso no God, let his soul rest in peace. Of course, you have reminded us that you are the way, the truth, and the light. Nobody comes to the Father except through you, O God. And so I pray, O God, that Father, your Son will rest in peace. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Father, we thank you. Because you will do more than we have expected to do. In the name of God, the Father. In the name of God, the Son. And the name of God, the Holy Spirit. May we all rise for the solemn tribute. Dead march in soul. No movement.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Are you with your hands here? Let's applaud for the magnificent choir of the cathedral. Thank you so very much. I've just been informed that some of you, your flight is about taking off. I don't know. But uh, we have so many wonderful, beautiful dignitaries, from, even from the federal here present. Our deputy governor, of course, she's here on dual capacity. She's our mother, our daughter, and also representing the executive governor, wonderful governor of River State. <laughs> Mama, you are welcome. Ibote, Baningo, Aloa, Tamni Boma. And now, Maki Senate, Mueta, and I would do. Hey, Tamno Bomas make here a prayer. Tamno D, in us me, Mueta, Aloa. Then we also have the, the deputy governor elect who is here with our, our professor, our mother, Professor Ngozi Odo, is here. Welcome, uh, our mother. God bless you. And uh, we also have our king, of course. I've recognized him and welcome him as well. Wonderful king that God gave to Abodiman and Calabari. Our king, welcome, sir. And his wife, our queen, she's here too. She's here. Yeah. Our queen, Ibote Aloha. Uh -huh. And uh, let's go to the clergy. We have our Archbishop, Dr. D.B. Kaladokbo, the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, River State, is here with me. Our son is from Akukuto local government, he's not from another place. And he was a cross bearer, a chorister here in this cathedral. Before, huh? No, be so. I uh know. -huh, Before Africa Church took him, today is an archbishop representing the Rivers Province, right? Uh huh. A hand of applause for him. He's here with us. <laughs> and we have so many. We have so many bishops here and uh, clergymen because of time. You are all welcome. God bless you as you have come to join us to honor our father. And we have uh, the chairman of Agukuto local government area is also here with us, who is our host in the government level. Honorable Roland Sekibo is here with us. And some of his counselors are also here. We have uh, His Royal Majesty Sir Oha Sergeant Chidi Awusi, DSSRS, Newelli, Emoa, the 13th. Your Majesty, where are you there? I know what's here. Where are the goalkeeper? Huh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Aha. Uh -huh. After I don't go, don't put me in the air for just one minute. Hold it. One more. We also have our son. Our son. The Secretary to the State Government, Dr. Tami Wenike Danagogo, is here with us. Tami, you are welcome. These pillars you are seeing is the one that sponsored the marble. Yes. 
and also the stained glass. He did it in memory of his uh, mother. And we have our, our fathers who are here, the paramount rulers of this community who are working tirelessly with the king to see that there is peace and progress in the community. The head of Uruwar House is here. The head of Otaji House is here. The head of Iju Jack House is also here. And we have uh, the chiefs, high chiefs representing the, the other uh, seven paramount uh, compounds. More especially, we want to recognize our father, our father, His Highness, Antonio Wildawa is here, the head, of, the head of Black Duke House of Abonima is here. You are welcome, sir. Then, in the government level, sorry, the names, uh, they are not mine, and they are not from Galabar, some of them, so uh, it will be so difficult to mention them, but uh, we recognize all of you. We have the federal government delegation, the chairman, committee of pro-chancellor, federal university of Waziri, Bashiru Dalhatu. Waziri Bashiru Dalhatu. Am I right? Okay, he's here. And we have Professor Ochefu. He's here, Secretary General, Committee of Vice Chancellors and Committee of Pro Chancellors of federal universities is also here. You are welcome. We have Ambassador God knows Bolade Igali, Pro Chancellor of Federal University Akure. And we have architect Lawrence Mbali, Pro Chancellor of Federal University Wukari Jarabi. Then we have a pro-chancellor, Uniport, Senator Andrew Uchendu is here, a distinguished senator. Keep clapping now as I'm calling them. Then we have the management team of Uniport, Vice Chancellor Professor Onare, is also a chief for professor, Chief Professor Onare. A. Hey, George Will is also here, son of the soil. It's represented by DVC admin, Professor Clifford Oforum, Oforum Registrar, Dr. Gloria Chinda, Seattle. Now we have uh, Dr. Helen. Ma, Ma Selu, so I didn't write it very well. Member of the Governing Council of the Uniport are also here. You are all welcome. Fate. Okay. <laughs> Professor A. B. Timila Nicholas Etebo is also here at VC. Bayasa Medical University. We have the VC Federal University local job, Professor Ola Rumi is also here. And uh, former VC Federal University of local job, Professor Ajila Miri. And we have the former active VC of Finiport, Professor Stephen Okodudu. Okay. Hmm? 
Then we also want to welcome and appreciate the um, the Amayanapo who are from Agukuto local government area, who are members of the Agukuto local government council of traditional rulers and chiefs. Amayanapo, you are welcome. Thank you so very much. We are trying to make it short. We have we have uh, we also have our father in the house, General Ike Wachuku, retired, and his wife. Hand of applause for them, please. And this is. Uh, how much we can take, but you are all recognized and welcome. God bless you. The God of Money bless you. Um, Your Majesty, Sergeant, I will say, please, one minute. One minute before we call upon the Deputy Governor to make our speech. Give him a microphone. Thank you very much. And uh, I will just say I recognize the clergy because there are quite a few people up there. I recognize all of you beginning from the hair. And I recognize the my, my, my king, I recognize the, 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 the governor being represented by the deputy here. I also recognize the incoming uh, deputy governor. And I will please ask for to stand there on the existing uh, pro protocol already established. Professor Nimi Briggs was a very good friend of my family for over 40 years. I, all I can say really is nobody has ever died and come back to tell us how that side is. But by the nature of that man, he is with the Lord. I have been with him for so many years, I cannot really pinpoint one thing he has done wrong. So I told my wife, not just as a family doctor who had my first four boys in Halton Clinic, not the, uh, the various things he had done for us as a vice chancellor University of Port Harcourt. The man is good. He was a very, very good guy. And I told myself, if I don't come here today, I would have lost all. Professor Briggs is a good man. And I'm not surprised when I came here and I saw the church packed. He passed a lot of cold and beautiful Heir to people that he has met. All I can say, rest in peace, Prof. Until when we will meet you with the Lord. Because I'm sure you're already there. Because of the numerous things you have done for humanity. Thank you very much and God bless the church. Thank you're you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so very much. Am I now to go here now? Okay. Alapo, Abu Dugayana, baby, Polobra. I will call upon our deputy governor, who is also representing the executive governor, to just say something before we 
recede for the interment. Our dear Father in the Lord, and all the officiating ministers here present, our dear King, the Honorable Abonima, and Chairman of the Council of Chiefs of Akutoro, and all your respected chiefs here with you. The Deputy Governor elect, my sister and my friend, Professor Ngozi Odu, Secretary to State Government, Chairman of Akutoro Local Government Area, my dear, the dear family, dear wife, and family, children, and grandchildren of our dear brother, friend, and mentor, Professor Nimisere Briggs. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, on behalf of His Excellency, Chief Barrister Yesom Ezemowike, C.O.N., Commander of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, Life Venture, who is unavoidably absent, has asked me to come and represent him at this occasion of our honoring our dear Professor Briggs, celebrating a life accomplished Indeed, Professor Briggs was a medical luminary, mentor to so many medics, so many, an international figure, at the same time, a community lover. He held so many posts, the state, national, and international level. His accomplishments are too many, too numerous to begin to, to, to mention them especially in the state, and also nationally and internationally. And of course, here too, we recognize, although I don't know if they're still here, the committee of vice chairmen and the pro-chancellors who are here to honor our dear friend and brother and colleague. He was a great friend and brother of my late husband, Chief Owen Banigo. They worked together very closely, we are partners, and on many grounds, on many levels, we have so much to remember him for and so much to celebrate in his life for. And so we are here to say, mourn no more, cry no more. Just remember this wonderful person who we all witness his life and touch so many lives all over the place. And we pray that in, our, in generations to come, we will see more of people like Professor Nimi Cerebrix serving our community and our nation. Thank you very much. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you, Your Excellency. May I tell If you say you are working for God and you've not touched lives, you've not finished your course, so remember that. We want to call upon Lamette Briggs for the vote of thanks before we go for the interment. Lamette Briggs, is he or she around? Lamette Briggs. Please speak aloud so that everybody will hear. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to thank every one of you for attending today. On behalf of my sister, my cousins, my parents, aunties and uncles, and my grandmother, we thank you very much and appreciate you being here today in memory of my late grandfather, Nimi Briggs, for being here with us and seeing him off as he goes home to his heavenly father. Just the size of this congregation shows the impacts that my grandfather had on such a vast number of lives. So I know that this loss resonates not only within the family, but around every part of our country as well. Again, I just want to stress our gratitude and wish everyone who has joined us for this occasion journey mercies to their destinations, whether far, near or far. God bless you. Thank you. Omiete. 
Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Him to receive. Sanki 1041 for our recession. This DJ is on fire. 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 Trendybeats.com.
Must be your blessings. Follow me, follow me, follow me everywhere. Your favor, follow me, follow me, follow me everywhere. If I start to grab my blessing, they go break and no go finish. You. That's why I rejoice for what the Lord has done. Oh my Jesus, you they do, 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 you they do, 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 do marvelous things. You do marvelous things. Oh.
music on TrendyBeats.com. on trendybeats.com It was no ordinary night For laying in a lonely manger By the holy Jesus child Tenderly he led so meek and mild The heavens and the earth were filled with praise For everywhere it was a holy But watch their fox by night They see a bright new shining star And then they heard a choir sing The music seemed to come from afar Joseph and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. They find no place to bear the child, not a single. 
room was inside. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of a dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and narrow pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. Yeah, a thrill of hope. The weary world returns. Voices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Everybody. Fate serenely believing with glowing hearts by his cradle we stand. So led by the light of stars swiftly gleaming, here comes the wise men from the Orient land. The King of Kings led us in lonely men. In all our trials, born to be a friend. Everybody. Music on trendybeats.com. Authenticado.
Jehovah, anything you're talking to do, you get the power to save, heal, and deliver. Hosanna, the angel of the sing, hallelujah. You know they lie, you know they fail, you know they carry my matter and play. See, yes, I did. you call me your own. When you reach my throne, Lord, you know they delay. From generation to generation, from Liberia to Jamaica, you know they carry last. You know they carry last. You know they carry last. on trendybeats.com Holy Spirit Feel this place With your power Feel this room Holy Spirit, feel this place with your power. Feel this room for we are ready for your glory, ready for your power, Lord. Come and manifest your glory, manifest your power, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. we ready for your move. Let your presence fill this room tonight. Can you just have your way? Have your will tonight Let it be with you and none of us We say Can you feel this room? With your power we say Just feel this room Is someone heart cry tonight? We say, feel this blood. Oh, 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 with your power, God, we say, can you just feel this wrong? We are ready. You come and manifest, oh, God. And manifest your
heart is filled up to my head More music on TrendyBeats.com
Then go they try, then go they fail. You go they go, you go they come. Now the grace of God they carry you go. on trendybeats.com on trendybeats.com
on trendybeats.com
Let this grace I receive daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. Da 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 da. You must see every morning. Yeah, you daily load me with benefits. I'm a benefit boy. You treat me like your only child in the world. I know Jesus, you're taking care of me. We are here to testify. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is looking after me. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. Yes, you daily keep your angels charge over me, charge over me. Indeed, you're taking care of me. I don't need to pay for the air that I breathe, air that I breathe. You're taking care of me. Chai, your blessings just follow me. Chai, angels watching over me. Chai, before I call you, answer me. I'm a benefit Jesus is taking care of me. I 
on trendybeats.com on trendybeats.com It was no ordinary night For laying in a lonely manger by the only Jesus child Tenderly he led so meek and mild The heavens and the earth were filled with praise For everywhere it was a holy
the praise on you and glorious more everybody So me a lot and then yeah. So me big ego it and then yeah. Oh, I need a lot and then yeah. Dear, dear, dear. Hala wala ma o. Ego it.
So when that man comes, there will be none of two. Have pity on those whose chances go still now. There is no other place from the fallout of creation. So again, one love, one of another one. One love, one of another. Let's get together and be all right. As you close to the beginning, one love. So shall I?
more music on trendybeats.com.
Libra Gadabo se delibra da handi Se quita la vida Se More music on trendybeats.com. Every time, new testimonies everywhere. Yeah, let us grace I receive daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. Da -da 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 -da. New mercies every morning. Yeah, you daily load me with benefits. I'm a benefit boy. You treat me like your only child in the world. I know, Jesus, you're taking care of me. We are here to testify. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is looking after me. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. Yes, you daily keep your angels charge over me, charge over me. Indeed, you're taking care of me. I don't need to pay for the air that I breathe, air that I breathe. You're taking care of me. Chai, your blessings just they follow me. Chai, angels watching over me. I, before I call you, answer me. I'm a benefit Jesus is taking care of me. Ayo. 
things he shall not stand before mean men proverbs 22 29 my name is nina nina Nerigs, um, i'm the first child and the only son of um, my parents i think difficult to to late my f in a few minutes. I think a son to this has shielded me from size this man. If you say what love, right, he was handsome. 